should be coming up on my screen. 529, about a minute still, so hopefully Open that up. Click, click, um. I just want to grab one thing. Hey, Debbie. I just want to go grab one thing of paper. It's blurry on my computer, but it should be fine on the phone. It looks okay on the phone. So, yeah. All right, so that looks good. Let me just grab that one little thing. Now, it looks okay on the, excuse me, on the phone, a little blurry on here. As smart tonight, I brought myself a bottle of water because I do find talking for a half an hour does actually, yeah, we did have a nice time in Pennsylvania. Um, we go out there on a Monday or Tuesday because there's shops there that are seven days a week or just five days and all the other shops around here are all the same days as us, Wednesday through Sunday. Lafayette's actually Thursday through Sunday, so we unfortunately do not get to go and pop in those shops. Hamburg Antique Center, though, is a seven-day-a-week sh uh, shop, so, hey, Carrie. So, I, I, I went and clarified the dates for the Facebook Lives for the next ones that are coming up. Super Bowl Sunday, I didn't realize, fell so late this year, February 13th. That's Sunday night at 6 p.m., so for those, have, you can have it on your phone while you're watching the football. Perfect timing, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you tune in, and who knows, if you don't like the halftime, you got Don live. And then it's Sunday, March 20th is the March one. So if you go on to our events page on our Facebook and you hit interested or going, it'll give you the, the alerts and the reminders. So those are the next two. So Sunday, February 13th and Sunday, March 20th. Now tonight I am sitting in what used to be Pick and Wildflowers booth. She has gotten an upgrade. She's up on the stage and about five minutes before the video ends tonight, we're going to actually go take a sneak peek. There's a lot of work being done up there still. We had to evacuate across the street, the garage and the basement quicker than we had anticipated. As such, Don was doing that in between still working at the on the trains and me running over here. So he enlisted some help and most of that stuff went on the stage. So when he decided to do the new booth up on the stage and there's going to be some other spaces, all that stuff had to be packed up together, consolidated and go up in the loft. Now going up in the loft is not just going upstairs. It is the pull down stairs, which are not that easy to do, and ladders. So it's been a little bit of a process. So Nick is in his new booth, he's good to go. He has a bookcase still and a shelf in the front room. And he's got a lot more space here. He, picking wildflowers, let him keep the carpet. You'll notice that the trellis is gone that was above. Well, you can't really see it in this picture. And he is a 20% off vendor, items not marked firm. He has an eclectic mix. I'm going to get out of my seat and show you around this booth really quick. I did grab some things from some other vendors as well that I thought might be of interest that are really cool items. And if you see anything while I'm walking around here, make sure you put it in the comments that you want to see something you want more information on, you want me to hold it up. So that's how these work. So if you're not done a, so a live event with us before, you just comment sold and the item is yours. If you're local to Andover, New Jersey, just arrange for pickup. We are Wednesday through Sunday. We do ship the smaller items. We can ship the larger Items, it's just, you're going to have a, there's a fee associated with that. So I'm going to kind of step back over here so you can see his space. So you remember there was a trellis up there. So he's still working on it. He just moved in and already got a lot of stuff in. The red drawer is bottom left. Okay, so we will get to those. So that's this booth. And like I said, there's other things I grabbed from a few other vendors. Let's see. These are... $48 each. They look like, kind of a little like big light. I think each one of them, there's a magnetic mason dude stuck on the side. <laughs> a little Shriner guy. He's just uh, $4 if anybody's looking for, looks like George Bush. 
as a Shriner. I'm just going to stick him somewhere else where it's magnetic. No. All right, we'll just put him there for now. He was hanging off the side of that drawer. I brought this shelf because this is from uh, the Hip Chick. And it's a really good deal. It's only $28. And I have the dimensions on that. So these are ones Dunlop. They're both different brands, but they're the same kind of setup. The other one's Waterloo. And they are $44 each. Let's bring that up. It's a nice little four drawer metal. There's red plastic drawers. And those come out. Oh, they're little divided drawers too. So they're like some kind of lucite plastic. Well, the one underneath, it's not divided, but it has these little metal dividers in it. This one's Dunlop, and the other one is Waterloo, and they are $28 each. I'm sorry, I was looking at that wrong. They're 28, they're 35 and then 20% off, so 28 each. It is eight and a half inches deep by almost six inches wide. And the height is almost six and a half inches. And there's two of those available, $28 each. Little red vintage gunmetal gray drawers. So we also have a, a Shriner for $4 that sticks on, he's a magnet. So I grabbed, like I said, from some other booths, things that I thought were neat. This is a little Art Nouveau. She feels like pewter uh, letter opener. Her face, I want to show this up close. Her face is not super detailed, but you can see the traditional Art Nouveau stylization. Her face is just kind of a blur, but I just thought it was really pretty, and that's $8 for the Art Nouveau. I mean, it's not super soft. But it's like kind of like an aluminum pewter feel to it. So I'm just going to put that on there. I also grabbed... Can I use the tag? Oh, there it is. Because I know... There's other people besides me who collect egg containers. I have wood, I have cardboard. This is Gold Seal, uh, American Stores Company, Philadelphia. Nice little old egg crate for $8. This is from Burning Sensation Antiques. I said I grabbed a few things from a people. Now, what's, what's fun with these is how cute are these at Easter time with your, your Easter, with your eggs inside of them? Just cute little storage, and there's just such a, you can easily put these anywhere. They look just great little vintage advertising for just $8. So. All right. I also grabbed, and the, the uh, Art Nouveau letter opener was from our Jazzy Junk. And I actually grabbed a couple of these little trinket boxes. I don't think they have, no, these aren't stamped, but they're really pretty. I'm going to come up close and show you. I just want to, oh, they have mirrors in them. You got it, Charlene. I'm going to show you these things up cute. They're very nice little porcelain trinket boxes. They are uh, white porcelain with blue uh, shades, different blue shades, and gold. No marking. They, that one works, and let's see how the other one works. Hey, Gerard. So I'll put that on for Charlene. And like I said, neither one of these are marked. They're $4.40 each. They're very pretty little porcelain boxes. Two different shapes. They do have mirrors in the lid. So these both have mirrors. They both work. They stay closed. They open easily. And these are just $4.40 each, not marked. Just beautiful little trinket boxes. One's a heart and one's a almost a rectangle. So if anybody wants any of these, you want both. If you want one, just tell me which shape you want on those. And I also saw this, like I said, I grabbed some random things. This is from Vintage Crush. It is a vintage 1932 Maryland glass divided jar cigarette dispenser with chrome lid. And it is, you can see the cigarette holder. This is $40. Now this has a it's cobalt with an aluminum with a little red metal knob tip. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it a little bit more in detail. We have the ship and the seashell. And there's a duck and another ship with a turtle. And I'm going to show it so you can actually see the mark on the bottom. Um, let me put it so you can actually, I can actually read it. And that says Maryland Glass Corp. God, I should probably, uh, I can't quite see the rest of it. My eyes are just, oh, Baltimore. 
Corporation. So Baltimore. This is Baltimore Cobalt. Oh, you got it. Isn't that really cool? I love this. All right. So that is yours, Kathleen. Let me put that over here. So as I, like I said, I, I wandered around and picked up some things that I hadn't seen before or featured yet. I thought some of you might enjoy seeing and grabbing. All right. And that is from our Vintage Crush vendor. those <laughs> now I also grabbed this is a fantastic price 13 by 15 painting 1440 I can't quite read the signature I'm going to come up to the it's framed it's an oil on canvas just 1440 you can see that's a nice signed and that's just 1440 for the beautiful framed oil painting and that is oil on canvas that's not a print that's actually an oil painting and that is from our pick and wildflowers who i will walk up there like i said later to show you the progress being made in that new sp new space up there i also grabbed something else from her that i know does well this i grabbed from the hip chick it's a marigold carnival glass dinner plate 11 inches divided floral pattern this is 14 dollars now from that front it's it's okay you turn around the pattern's just beautiful and remember, these were made to actually use, and our portions were much smaller back then. So, and that's just $14 for the carnival glass. Let me put that on top of this. Now, I also saw this from, it's got, okay. This is a nice salt glaze weave crock. I do see, oh, I don't think she saw that. I'm seeing that now. There is a large hairline in this, so I think we're going to have to, Pull that back for Auntie's attic to look at because it's not marked as that because I don't think she saw it. I'm just seeing that now. I don't see it as is. So we're going to pull this off because there is damage on that. Where did I get this from? This is from Our Country Roads. $8 little planter just made in China. It's, it's a one-piece planter with the drain inside. And I'll hold that up for you. It's a pretty little porcelain dish. Now it does have, these are great starter planters because you do have the drain that comes right out on the bottom here like I said it's just for decoration I mean I don't know what else you would use a plant thing for anyway <laughs> I'm not drinking or eating out of it so that and that's just six dollars and forty cents and that's all one piece which is great so you're not knocking the, just the saucer over very pretty if you're giving what a great little gift if you're giving somebody a little starter that you've cut off of one of your big plants Please don't bring me plants. I don't have good luck with them. Now these we always sell very quickly. It's a jewelry plastic hand. Seven inches tall, just seven twenty. This is from Pick and Wild Flowers. They're great for your rings, jewelry display, or if you just need an extra hand. And that is just $7.20 from Pick and Wild Flowers. And then this was recently reduced. So I grabbed this because she's reduced it from $16.00 down to nine and then with a 20% off, it becomes $7.20. It's a beautiful Schintz, um, is there measurements on that? Cranberry floral pitcher and it is, and again, that's just $7.20. That's a really good deal. I'll show you the maker's mark on that in a second. That is at the highest, it's almost seven and a half inches tall and it is Antique Reflections by J. Gottinger and Company, so I'm thinking that's the company that does all the silver. So this is a very pretty little picture for just $7.20, this porcelain. Here's our maker's mark. And things like this, we can, yes, absolutely ship these very easily. Excuse me. Very pretty. And again, the shelf that I'm putting these things on, I have the measurements here. It is a 39 inches tall by 14 and something inches wide by 9 inches deep. It's painted yellow, it is wood, and it is uh, four compartments on this shelf. So if you need an extra shelf, nice little solid wood shelf here for just $28. And then I found this little guy when I was wandering. A little wood swan for $14.40. does have some love on him, but no cracks or breaks or repairs. And he is from Redreamable for $14.40. And he is eight inches wide by I met five and a half inches tall and three and a half inches deep 
no signature or anything, just a pretty wood swan. I know I had somebody looking for one. I think they wanted larger, but we just got this one back in. Well, not back in. We just got this one in. Now, to my right in his booth, he's got, they're not the full sets, but we have partial lamb molds. And this is 1760 each. There's three small ones with different degrees of condition, but they're still very cool. And they are marked. It says 12AR102. Let's bring those up. And I have a larger one. And these are from Good to Go, the booth that we are currently visiting. And these are 1760 for the small. And then he has a partial large. You can see that the face isn't as delineated as the smaller ones. And he is uh, $12.80. So his face isn't, it's kind of like a little, but it, it's the back of one, so you don't have the face. So you have that little button sticking out. So this is the back end of the lamp. And let's see. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's a good deal. It is painted. It was probably a little galvanized one, but it's got this great little vintage paint on it now, nice and chippy. $8 for the melt can. It has a partial transfer on it, it says liquid. And the height on that, without putting it on my laptop, is... Ah! Yeah, it's kind of hard when I don't have to put it on the floor hard when I don't have a surface to put it on to measure. It is about either 11 or 10 and a half inches tall. I don't bend well. So again, this is just $8 for this nice metal. It's painted, but still very country country kitchen. $8, adorable little milk can. And again, if you see anything in the background that you wish more information on, let me know and I will gladly get that for you. Here is an M. Salzman Company Purity above all uh, jug for, what is the letter R behind you? It's, it's a, I think they're galvanized and, and metal. I'll grab that one in a second. All right, so this is on sale for $31.20. I don't see any condition issues. Nice, oh, it's, and it's signed on the bottom. But I cannot quite read. Akron. All right, so this is out of Ohio. You see a lot of potteries there. Nice salt glaze, dual tone, 3120 for the nice whiskey jug. It's a very nice one. I can get my... While I'm working with Don, I'll fill that one up. All right, so he has these letters back here. First right of refusal to, to uh, carry. It's, it's kind of like it's... The, the letter itself is wood. They're from Hallmark. They're not super old. This one's 1440 and it has like metal, a metal insert over the wood. And it, so and that's 1440 for the R and the E. The ampersand is a little bit more. And the R is 11 and a half inches tall by nine and a half inches wide. Just think of that, you have ER. Hmm, whose initials are those? <laughs> so those are $14.40 each for the letters, $17.60 on the ampersand. Now the Canada Dry 7-Up signs, they are $49 each. They are vintage. This one has, is not as much paint loss. He has a great clothes rack up there for $60. It's going to hide. Show you that. And there's the 7-Up signs, some great lighting. Remember, if it doesn't say firm, you're going to take 20% off. And the great thing with his tags is he writes his prices nice and large so you can see that. This interesting corner light. He, he brought in some cameras. So I'm just going to kind of, well, that's cute. Look at this little thing for $7.20. What is that? That is a, I need my glasses. This is really nice. Little gal, it's kind of like enamel. It's missing some of the enamel there, but it's like enamel almost over gal. And the lid is just a galvanized. It's got like a little wood knob. That is adorable. Seven twenty. Again, take that twenty percent off. If there's anything you want more information on, let me know. 
He's got in some great copper. Great old car here. Oh, the furniture. These are some great paint projects here. Now, this secretary here is, does not have a bottom. Because of that, it's only $28. So if you're able to, if you have a desk or you have a bottom, this is just $28. I don't have a key, as is. And there's some condition issues in here, like this part here. So this is just $28. Great project piece. And has four drawers. It's part of a secretary. And then he's got this great dresser that he also brought in. I mean, look at that finish on that. Let's see what that is. So that's 75, so that would be 60 with the discount. And he has the measurements right on the top there. And the drawers are super deep. They open up super easily. No funky smells. There are just some cos cosmetic issues. There's some scratches on the top. This is a solid dresser, not moving. He also has these great littles all over the place. And like I said, he still has his bookcase up front. So, what is that? Okay. So this would be $8 for the Vietnam War bit. So. And I just want you to see his booth. And he's obviously not done. He's still in the process of moving in. And you got to make sure you look up and down. He's brought in some great vintage toys. Oh, I have a couple of things from other vendors that I also brought over that I wanted to show you. Okay, going all over the place. It's a lot of fun games. Oh, that's neat. Look at that shell. What is that? That is a, just a dish. It's $28. Vintage banks. Case, this case is not for sale. And he will be bringing in a light bulb for that side. Some vintage trucks. Let's see, that one is $14.40. What is the Tonka behind it? Let's see. He is same price. That's a good deal. Nice old vintage Tonka for $14.40. Some old games. Tin litho. All kinds of stuff down here. He's got a bunch of baseball bats. There's some really good crates in here. That one's just $24. And let's see, does it say anything else? from Morristown, New Jersey. And that looks pretty good to me. I don't see. Yeah, that's a good, nice crate there. A little uh, hemp oil on it. It'll make it look nice. Filing drawers. Music stand. Tiny little rocking chair. So I'm going to put this back over here again. I just want to show you the other things that I grabbed from a few of the other vendors' booths. Let me make sure I'm still in the camera here. Sorry about that. I think that should be good. I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. 552. So I'm going to show you the other three little things that I grabbed and then I'm going to, uh, hopefully we keep the signal up on the stage. We tend to lose it when I turn that corner. So if I lose you, I hope you have a great night. But I just want to give you a sneak peek at the work that's being done. Like I said, she's not done. I grabbed this because I thought this was just so cute. has a couple of little stains. It is a little parasol for 1760 works super easy. I, I, I feel like I, I'm like that, I'm a little maid, whatever that thing is. But isn't this just beautiful? 1760, clothes rack sold. You got it. I will mark that sold for you. So again, this is just 1760, easy up and down, no tears, a couple of small stains. Just a very sweet little parasol. And it's very, I like how it's not Flopping, like sometimes you get these in the late, you know, they're not as tight as this. This one's in really good shape. So I'm not going to close it up again because they had it open. I don't want to do to them to keep playing with it. I found a really cool iron stone. It's uh, the, the saucer is signed. Royal Stone China, Wedgwood, England. So this is the true vintage iron stone. It's a nice cup and saucer set from our nanny goat, and that's $12. It's a larger coffee cup. Iron stone, which is great goes through the washer and the small rocker is put this where I won't break it. Oh there's the jig. Let's see. Oh, good. Uh, it's on 3120 after the discount. So let me just put Kathleen's name up on that piece so I don't forget. It is a really nice one. That is nice and large. That's really nice. And now I'm gonna oh is there oh yeah I have one more little thing just a little 
I grabbed from uh, the Looking Glass a longer burger, 1997, a small basket, and it's uh, signed on the bottom, 1996, and that's $14. It says 97 here, but it's signed 96, and that's a tiny one with a little patriotic liner, so, and that is longer burger. And let me put this on there, and I'm going to walk you up. Like I said, I might lose you when we go up on the stage because we don't have the best internet up there because it kind of cuts off from 75 firm. I'm sorry, that's not it's not 60. He does say firm on there, Kathleen. Um, I hope that's okay. So it's it's a 75 firm on that. I didn't see the firm. I mean, it's written large enough. So let me know if you don't want it. I mean, 75 firm is still a fantastic price on that. I forgot the word firm. So let me know if you change your mind on that. Not a problem. We are now going up to picking wildflowers. Oh, and then the other change was redreamable. This wall was extended. So you see where that little division is right here. That extra bit of pegboard was added. So her wall is even bigger now. With She gets a lot of great artwork and mirrors. And everybody back here, if it doesn't say firm, is at least 20% off. Same for cash or credit. There's part of what we're working on getting up into the loft. And like I said, we're going to, this is going to be all cleaned up, but for now, it's a work in progress. This is where we used to do our, we have now moved, we're going to be doing those up front. And this is where Picking Wildflowers has this, all this space here. So that where that bookcase is to over, I'm trying to, just, we're trying to, Flatten out that carpet there. And she's got a lot there. All right, so obviously I can't do into that corner, but that is where Picking Wildflowers is now. And like I said, Kathleen, if you can just let me know if you still want that, because I did not see the firm on that, so just let me know if that's okay. Nick is 75 firm on that. I should see it. He's writing it large enough. So, oh yeah, there's a label on it too. There's a little metal label there. It's really nice. All right, so this was visiting with Good To Go tonight. If you saw anything in here, after 6 o'clock, you have to direct message me because we're no longer live. So let me just put this here for a second. And if there's anything else that anybody saw, let me know. I will gladly pull that aside for you. If you're local, we are, that's the yellow hutch for sale. Oh, the one up on the stage, yeah, that's the one that's been here that you've looked at. The little one with the, with the mirror in it. And I think she's marked that down. And that does have the light in it. Okay, that's interesting. So the, oh, the yellow hutch, which, if it's that big hutch there, I'm going to put the phone here only because it doesn't do well up here. Oh, and her timer went out on the light. So, yes, this yellow hutch is for, it's, it's more of a green. And it is two and a quarter and then 20% off. So that is, my math sucks. It's more of a green. You can see that now with the lights went out. And let me figure out that math. All right, so it's funny. That question came up on the computer, but not on there. Okay, um, so that is that nice big hutch. Is 180. So that's one of the newer pieces that she just brought in. So it's more of a green. I don't know if you could see it better when I went back up there with the, when the lights went off. We have some things in here that when the lights go off, the colors change. So there's a lamp over in the corner that the little beads look purple. When we took it down, they looked blue. So if you want any more information, if you want more pictures of anything, let me know. I will get that up. I'm hoping tomorrow night to do a YouTube video. I don't know how much social media I can get done if you saw this behind the, the, the desk and you saw some of the mess there that we're working on. I told Don, as long as we're set by June 1st, one year from opening and have everything where it should be, we're good to go and we're in good to go. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Sounds good, Deborah. And uh, let me know if there was anything, if anything after this, direct message me, any of the small stuff, easy to ship. If you're local, we are right in Andover, New Jersey between the gas station and Crossroads. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining me. Take care.